the cost of medical fitness and the requirements for all the residents and employers in Qatar. Tune into this video as we try to see how much does it cost for you to have the medical in Qatar and what are the requirements for you to have the medical in Qatar. Either you own a work visa or you own a freelancer visa. What are the requirements? What do you need to know? Tune into this video until the end as we try to see all these requirements cover up. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. And if it's your first time to come across on this channel, please consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing to this channel. Remember, it's next from the next creation where we get to share information regarding travel regarding jobs here in Qatar and the Gulf countries at large. In today's video, we are going to look about, we are going to talk about the requirements. The requirements, the cost, what do you need to know about the medicals, the medical fitness here in Qatar. I know right now, it's the peak of the World Cup. By the way, something that I need to let you know, the World Cup tickets are already out. Remember, we are looking at the great opportunities for our brothers and sisters who are coming to these Gulf countries to share part of this national care that is going to have the jobs, the security jobs, the cleaning jobs, the technician jobs, in whatever kind of field that you may be coming to do in this country. Remember, in the video, one video we talked about the medicals. What happens if the medicals are not, if you're not, if you're not fit for the medicals or if you fail the medicals, what happens next. In today's video, we are going to see what is the cost of the medical. What are you required to have for you to have the medicals here in Qatar? This is what we are trying to go to explore. Remember, something that still I need to remind you that medicals in Qatar, they are very strict with the medicals. Especially for the person that is going to work or for the person that is going to live with the entire who is going to live among us, the population in Qatar. Remember, in Qatar, the foreign workers or the foreign workers are more than the population of the country, the nationals in the country. So they little a bit very strict with who is supposed to live with or who is supposed to live among these people. And that is why you are required to have what you call the medical medical fitness test for the medical requirement. But remember, this is a little bit different. It may be a little bit in two scenarios. We have one scenario whereby you have your own visa, or what you call the freelancer visa, or we talk about where you come on the visa visa. Then we also have what we call the work visa. When we talk about the work visa, or when we talk about the work visa, you are being recruited by the company or you are being recruited by an employer or someone is sponsoring you. Remember, that time the requirements will be very different. Why? Because everything will be done by your company, will be being done by your employer. But again, if you are a freelancer or you freelancer visa, what is going to happen? Meaning that in that situation, you are going to bear all the costs that is the added advantage of being under what you call a company sponsored visa or being under a person sponsored visa. Whereby you only given a work visa, you only come and everything will be done for you at no cost. You only have to present yourself to be fit for the job and everything will be done for you. Other than where you have to bear a lot of cost for that situation. In that right, let us try to see what are the requirements that you're supposed to have for the medicals. As it. Yes, I may be under what you call a work visa or is sponsored by a person to work for unemployed, but still, it is also a part of me to know what they require of me. And this is what we are trying to do at right. Now, remember, among the services provided by the Medical Commission here in Qatar, 
it is what we call the medical requirement that has to be made by all people working in Qatar. You must undergo what you call a medical test to prove how fit you are to work with the population, to work within the population. So you will undergo that test of different kinds of diseases that we mentioned in one of the videos in my you check in the description box below. What are the requirements? What documents are you required to go for the medicals or to have the medicals here in the small gap countries? Remember, we are talking about the opportunities. But how do you get part of that opportunity? One of the requirements is passing the, the, the medical test or the medical fitness test. So that you can be given what you call a residence card or residence visa or residence ID for you to be eligible to work in Qatar. One of the requirements is the original copy of your passport. One of the requirements that's being required by the medical or required by the medical commission for you to undertake the medical test fitness is the original copy of your passport. This is where it comes in that in case you are employed by a company or on your a work visa, then your employer will provide that copy of the original passport because they will have it for the first three months in some companies. For the first six months, some companies will be in custody of your passport because they need to prove for you the medicals, they need to do everything for you until you get, when you get a residence permit or a residence ID, then they can give you back your ID or your passport within to be holding your hands. Number two, it is what you call a copy of the residence visa with the mobile number that you are supposed to have or where they will contact you. This is what I have to let you know guys. There is no way you are going to go for medicals when you don't, you don't have a proof of the visa. That is where a company sponsored visa is better than a freelancer visa. Because you may not, you may not know what a freelancer visa. You may look for that sponsor of the freelancer visa, it's not available. So meaning you cannot book up a medical test. But if you are under what you call a work sponsored visa, under a company sponsored, under a person with a company employer in a given company sponsoring then this will at least assure that this will be just be out of hand. It will be just in his hand to try to book up the medical for you. So you need a copy of the visa for you to go for those medicals. Still, the mobile number, your personal mobile number. Remember, a personal mobile number is also very important here. Because it's only means of communication where you receive those notifications and where you receive those messages. So you will need a personal number. And it is one of the first things that you have to do as soon as you get to the immigration at any airport. Let's for new people or newcomers coming in Qatar. The first thing you need to have is to buy a mobile number at the airport. Because you remember, That is the only way means that you will be communicated to. Point number three, for companies must register. If you are recruited under the company, under what you call the company work visa, the company will have to register all its employees on what you call the government website. That is called the Ministry of Public Health for them to book up the appointments for the medicals. So I hope guys this is very clear. Hope this is very clear. And the last requirement is how much are you supposed to pay? What are the fees for the medicals? The fees for the medicals is a hundred Qataria. That is what you pay if you are under a freelancer visa. You pay for yourself to do that maintenance. Remember, it is an unrefundable fee. In any case you are unfit for the medicals, then you get it for it. 
Then another thing is that this is if you are under what you call a, co a company sponsored or under a work visa, the company will have to pay a hundred cataria equivalent, which is an equivalent of 28 US dollars for you to go and book up those appointments for those medicals. Hope guys you try to share something. Those are the requirements for you to have to do the medicals here in Qatar. Remember, the medicals here are very strict. Indeed, they are very strict. Some people may say, I pass here, I wait without medicals, but I'm assured you, the medicals are very strict. And once you are unfit for the medicals, the only option they have for you is to go back to your country. Thank you so much for watching videos on this channel, and thank you so much for tuning to this channel. Hope I've tried to share something. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing. And if it is your first time to come across on this channel, please don't hesitate. Comment, subscribe, and press that notification icon. Bell will be the first to be on the Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And thank you so much for tuning in this channel. See you again in the next video as we try to see more of the medical requirements here.